Hello, and welcome to Situate High School Highlights. My name is Jane Humphrey from Situate Community Television. Situate High School Highlights is about student life outside the classroom. Every episode of Highlights is made up of five parts. Community service, music and theater, clubs and organizations, sports, college and counseling. Today we begin with college and counseling. You are a freshman at Situate High School. You are already thinking about preparing for college. Well, we are here to help. Here's how to get through your freshman year. When you first get to Situate High School, going to classes is just the beginning. It is important to enrich yourself and root yourself with extracurricular activities that interest you. Every year is important when it comes to your grades. You need to always ask for help with homework and stay on the right track. Make sure to go see your guidance counselor. They will always support you and assist you with any issues you may have. You may want to start an activity resume for all the extracurricular activities you'll be involved with in the next four years. Now you are a sophomore at Situate High School. You are already thinking about what colleges are looking for in a student. The PSAT, honors classes, community service, and jobs are all crucial parts of your sophomore year. You want to complement your strengths with honors classes and balance them out with CP level courses for a schedule that is manageable. Everyone is required to fill seven blocks of time in your schedule, so make sure to plan carefully when you're deciding which courses you want to sign up for in the spring. Most students take a year of math, science, history, English, and a foreign language. That's already five blocks. That leaves two blocks for an elective or a study, which you can break into quarters. Remember, you also need to make time for a block requirement of gym and a block requirement of health, which makes up half a year. What is the difference between college preparatory courses, honors classes, and advanced placement courses? Honors classes are faster paced classes that go more in depth into the subject and have more of a homework load compared to CP classes. The advanced placement courses are only offered your junior and senior year in select subjects. These courses cover more material than an honors class and goes at an even faster pace. Each AP course covers material that will be on the AP exam offered in May. In the fall of your sophomore year, there will be a day dedicated to taking a test, and afterwards you leave school around 11.20 a.m. Both juniors and sophomores take the preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. This test will prepare you for the SATs, a national test for colleges to test your reading, writing, and math skills. At Situate High School, the test is free of charge, but mandatory for every student to take. A few months after you take the exam, your counselor will hand out your test score reports and go over them in a larger group of students. You can find out more information online where your weak points and strong points are highlighted in depth. Situate High School has a requirement of 50 hours of community service to be completed before you graduate. Sophomore year is a good time to get started on these hours. Just to attend the junior prom, you need to have already completed 35 of these hours. It's time to get to work on those community service hours. Don't worry about getting a job this year, unless you are considering going abroad on the Spanish or French exchange. Then you might need to get an application at Dunkin' Donuts. Now you're a junior at Situate High School. You have picked a challenging schedule that keeps you busy. You are maintaining a balance between your work inside and outside of Situate High School. This year will have the biggest effect on getting into college in many ways. The SATs are offered every other month, so check with your guidance counselor on what test ticket schedule is best for you. The winter of your junior year is a good time to start applying for summer jobs. You're going to want to have some job experience going into your senior year, so make sure you apply somewhere that will give you the experience you need. And what about your major? Now is also a good time to consider what options best reflect your interests. Now you're a senior at Stuart High School. This year is about picking schools to apply to and getting into college. 
Generally, students pick six to eight schools to apply to. There are three different decisions for applying to college. Early decision, early action, and regular decision. The early decision application deadline is late November, early November. The early action application deadline is early November. And the regular decision application deadline is usually January 1st. Remember, all schools have different deadlines and may not offer any early application. For families with financial challenges, there are application waivers available and guidance. Scholarships and financial aid filing vary from school to school. Some colleges award scholarships as soon as you're accepted, while other schools award scholarships after the formal filing process is complete. Financial aid filing requires filling out a FAFSA form and can be very time consuming. Find out more about financial aid in our next highlights program. Thanks for tuning in to Situate High School Highlights. My name is Jane Humphrey from Situate Community Television. Perfect.